enforcement or anyone. We have this beautiful area for them to sit. Um, and families have to wait. We try and you know, have things relatively peaceful, except for the Pop 40 over the, the speaker here. Um, but try to have a very peaceful uh, atmosphere for them with some, some books or magazines to read, and we'll have coffee and such. We're going to go down the long hallway, so we can kind of come in like a body would come in. We have a body lift, which this is the kind of thing typically used in nursing homes and such for um, moving patients around, so you don't have to use your back all the time. Uh, when a funeral home or transporter brings in a body, they will come through that door. That's from a, an enclosed garage, and so bodies can be unloaded privately without um, chance of any camera interference. Um, and they'll come in on their own stretcher, and they have to be moved to one of our carts here. And so you can, if they're light, typically they'll just move them themselves. But nowadays, most people are pretty heavy, and uh, we use um, the body lifter. And then they get weighed on this poor scale, and if they're going to get an autopsy uh, right away, they can be wheeled into the autopsy suite, otherwise they will go in our cooler, which I think is empty. No matter if the decomp is in there, the smell never goes away. But uh, we have room for about 40 bodies, I believe, but we also have freezer space for um, long-term residents as well as decomposed bodies. Well, we have a drying room a lot of time. Um, clothing, of course, on the body comes in and it may be wet with blood or, you know, a pond or whoever, uh, whatever. We can uh, dry them nicely in a nice secure area. Our autopsy suite. In our previous building, we had room where we could do one autopsy at a time. That, that, there was no working around. There was room for one. And there's some days that we have five pieces very difficult. So now we have three full-time docs and we can do really four to six autopsies at once if we had to. Um, this machine behind you, most of you, the low docs, this is our pride and joy. We're the only medical examiner's office in the country who has one of these. This is a, hence the name, low-dose radiation scan that was developed in South Africa because of the diving mines. People going in and out of the mine were scanned daily to make sure that they were not ingesting otherwise um, hoarding diamonds on their person. This is used in trauma facilities, but of course they're also trying to um, find a, uh, a niche in the ME. It's just very expensive. We were just very fortunate to get one. I think this does a complete AP or a white scan of a body in 13 seconds. So we have a head to toe x-ray in 13 seconds of a whole body. You can do it with all the clothing on. You can do it through body bags. It doesn't matter what it is, because if there's a key or something like that, you can see it. You can see what it is. Um, I had a very fortunate circumstance where I had an unidentified decomposed body, um, and I scanned um, him, and there was actually an, an, a bullet from 30 years prior lodged in his spine, which I, would have been a miracle to find just doing you know, plate by plate x-rays. Um, so we are extremely fortunate. Burned bodies, you know, bullets, multiple bullets. It, this machine is just absolutely awesome. Again, 13 seconds as opposed to over an hour.